Earth's most distant emissary after months of troubleshooting, a glitch that had rendered the probe's transmissions unreadable. After 46 years of exploring the far reaches of space, Voyager 1 has just captured a signal that has scientists on edge. What could this mysterious message mean, and why has it suddenly appeared now? This breaking discovery could change everything we know about the universe. In a groundbreaking development, NASA's Voyager 1, humanity's farthest spacecraft, has intercepted a strange and unsettling signal from the depths of space. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has been on an epic journey through the cosmos, transmitting invaluable data back to Earth for decades. But now, 14 billion miles away, it's picked up something that has scientists both baffled and alarmed. What is this eerie signal? And what could it reveal about the mysteries of our universe? Stay tuned as we dive into this astonishing discovery and what it could mean for the future of space exploration. In a stunning turn of events, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, the most distant man-made object in space, has successfully resumed all science observations after a brief period of uncertainty. The spacecraft, which has been traveling through space for over 46 years, recently experienced an unexpected anomaly that threatened to end its mission. However, through a combination of ingenuity, perseverance, and decades of experience, NASA engineers were able to troubleshoot the issue and bring Voyager 1 back online. Launched on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 was designed to explore the outer planets of our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn and their moons, rings, and magnetic fields. The spacecraft far exceeded its initial mission objectives, providing humanity with the first close-up images of these distant worlds and their unique features. After its historic flybys of Jupiter in 1979 and Saturn in 1980, Voyager 1 continued its journey eventually becoming the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space in 2012. Since crossing the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins, Voyager 1 has been sending back data about this uncharted region. Its instruments have provided scientists with invaluable information about the density, temperature, and composition of the interstellar medium. However, as the spacecraft has continued its journey, it has faced increasing challenges due to its age and the harsh environment of space. In early 2024, Voyager 1 experienced a significant anomaly that caused concern among the NASA team. The spacecraft's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which is responsible for maintaining the spacecraft's orientation, began transmitting garbled telemetry data. This data is crucial for ensuring that Voyager 1's antenna remains pointed toward Earth, allowing for communication and the transmission of scientific data. The anomaly led to a temporary suspension of science observations as the NASA team worked to diagnose and resolve the issue. Given the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth, over 14 billion miles, communication with the spacecraft is challenging. Signals take more than 21 hours to travel one way, meaning any commands sent to Voyager 1 or data received from it involve a time delay of over 42 hours. This delay, combined with the spacecraft's aging systems, made the anomaly particularly difficult to troubleshoot. Despite the challenges, the NASA team remained determined to restore Voyager 1 to full functionality. The engineers carefully analyzed the garbled data and determined that the AACS had begun using an incorrect computer memory location to store commands. This incorrect memory location caused the system to send faulty data, leading to telemetry issues. To resolve the problem, the team decided to issue a series of carefully crafted commands to the spacecraft. These commands were designed to reset the AACS and direct it to use the correct memory location. Given the stakes involved, any mistake could potentially jeopardize the entire mission. The team meticulously planned each step taking into account the long communication delays and the need to preserve the spacecraft's remaining power. After sending the commands and waiting anxiously for over 42 hours, the team received confirmation that Voyager 1 had successfully executed the instructions. The ACS returned to normal operation, and the spacecraft's telemetry data was restored to its expected state. With the issue resolved, Voyager 1 was able to resume all science observations, much to the relief and excitement of the NASA team and the global scientific community.
The successful recovery of Voyager 1 is a testament to the resilience of both the spacecraft and the NASA team. It underscores the importance of careful planning, problem solving, and collaboration in the face of unexpected challenges. The ability to restore Voyager 1's functionality after such a significant anomaly highlights the incredible engineering and design that went into the spacecraft, as well as the dedication of the team that has been supporting its mission for nearly half a century. Voyager 1's continued operation is crucial for our understanding of the interstellar medium. The data it collects provides insights into a region of space that no other spacecraft has explored, helping scientists better understand the environment beyond our solar system. This knowledge is not only valuable for basic scientific research, but also for future missions that may venture into interstellar space. Moreover, Voyager 1's journey serves as an inspiration for future generations of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. It demonstrates the power of human ingenuity and the enduring desire to explore the unknown. As Voyager 1 continues its voyage through interstellar space, it carries with it the legacy of human exploration and the hope that one day, we will send even more advanced missions to explore the cosmos. However, the spacecraft were equipped with enough durability and instrumentation to potentially extend their mission to Uranus and Neptune. Each Voyager spacecraft was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including imaging systems, magnetometers, plasma detectors, cosmic ray detectors, and more. These instruments were designed to study the atmospheric properties, magnetic fields, rings, and moons of the planets they encountered. Voyager 2 was launched first on August 20, 1977, followed by Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. Despite the numbering, Voyager 1 was placed on a faster trajectory and reached Jupiter ahead of Voyager 2. Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter in March 1979, with Voyager 2 following in July 1979. The spacecraft provided unprecedented close-up images and data of the gas giant, revealing details about its great red spot, its complex cloud systems, and its many moons, including volcanic activity on Io and ice-covered Europa. Voyager 1 reached Saturn in November 1980, followed by Voyager 2 in August 1981. The spacecraft studied Saturn's rings in detail, discovered new moons, and sent back images of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, which has a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. After their successful encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2's mission was extended to explore Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited these ice giants, passing Uranus in January 1986 and Neptune in August 1989. The flybys provided the first detailed images and data of these distant planets and their moons. After completing their planetary missions, both Voyagers were tasked with exploring the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond. This phase of the mission, known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission VIM, focuses on studying the outer heliosphere and the boundary region where the Sun's influence wanes and interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, on August 25, 2012, making it the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed, crossing the heliopause on November 5th, 2018. Both spacecraft continue to send data back to Earth, although their power supplies are dwindling. As of 2024, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are more than 14 billion and 12 billion miles from Earth, respectively. They are expected to continue transmitting data until around 2025 when their power sources will likely be insufficient to keep their instruments operational. Voyager 1 is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. Despite the gradual decay of its power source, the spacecraft continues to function, although some instruments and systems have been powered down to conserve energy. Equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, Voyager 1 was designed to conduct an extensive study of the outer planets and their moons, and now continues its journey into interstellar space. Four of these instruments have played crucial roles in gathering data and expanding our understanding of the solar system and beyond. The Imaging Science Subsystem, ISS on Voyager 1, consists of two cameras, a narrow angle camera, NAC, and a wide angle camera, WAC. These cameras were designed to capture high resolution images of the planets, their rings, 
and their moons. The ISS captured detailed images of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing complex cloud patterns, storms, and ring structures. It also discovered volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon Io and icy surfaces on Europa. One of the most iconic images taken by Voyager 1's ISS is the pale blue dot, a photograph of Earth taken from a distance of about 3.7 billion miles. This image underscored the fragility and uniqueness of our planet in the vastness of space. Equipped with an 800 mm focal length, this camera provided high-resolution images of distant objects. With a 200 mm focal length, this camera captured broader views of planetary systems. Next, the magnetometer, MAG, on Voyager 1, was designed to measure the magnetic fields of the planets, their moons, and the solar wind. Understanding magnetic fields is crucial for studying planetary atmospheres, magnetospheres, and the heliosphere. MAG data revealed that Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger than Earth's and is tilted relative to its rotational axis. The instrument provided detailed measurements of Saturn's magnetic field, which is unique because it is almost perfectly aligned with the planet's rotational axis. MAG data confirmed Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause in 2012, marking its entry into interstellar space. This was a historic achievement, providing the first direct measurements of the interstellar magnetic field. The magnetometer sensors are mounted on a 13-meter boom to minimize interference from the spacecraft's own magnetic field. The system includes a low-field magnetometer and a high-field magnetometer to measure a wide range of magnetic field strengths. Third, the Plasma Science Instrument, PLS, on Voyager 1, was designed to study the properties of the solar wind and the plasma environment of the outer planets. Plasma, a state of matter consisting of charged particles, plays a crucial role in space weather and planetary magnetospheres. PLS provided detailed measurements of the solar wind speed, density, temperature, and pressure throughout Voyager 1's journey. The instrument helped characterize the plasma environments around Jupiter and Saturn, contributing to our understanding of their magnetospheres. After crossing into interstellar space, PLS continues to measure the properties of the interstellar plasma, providing new insights into the nature of the space between stars. The instrument includes four Faraday cups that capture charged particles and measure their properties. PLS can detect plasma densities ranging from a few particles per cubic centimeter to thousands of particles per cubic centimeter. The Cosmic Ray Subsystem, CRS, on Voyager 1 was designed to measure the flux, energy, and composition of cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from outside the solar system. Cosmic rays provide valuable information about astrophysical processes and the interstellar environment. CRS has measured the intensity of cosmic rays throughout the solar system, contributing to our understanding of how the heliosphere modulates these particles. Data from CRS were crucial in confirming Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause, as the instrument detected a significant increase in cosmic ray intensity, indicating the spacecraft had entered interstellar space. In interstellar space, CRS continues to measure the flux and energy of cosmic rays, providing new insights into the nature of the interstellar medium and the sources of cosmic rays. CRS includes three detectors, a high-energy telescope, a low-energy telescope, and an electron telescope, each designed to measure different energy ranges of cosmic rays. The instrument can detect cosmic rays with energies ranging from a few million electron volts to several billion electron volts. Imagine a spacecraft hurtling through the cosmos, far beyond the realms of our solar system, uncovering secrets that challenge our very understanding of space. Voyager 1, NASA's interstellar pioneer, has encountered phenomena so strange and unexpected that they have left scientists both baffled and exhilarated. After crossing the heliopause, Voyager 1 entered a region where the density of charged particles is higher than expected. This discovery challenged previous models of the interstellar medium and indicated that the spacecraft is in a unique transitional region between the influence of our sun and the interstellar environment. In addition, Voyager 1's cosmic ray subsystem detected unexpected increases and decreases in cosmic ray intensity as the spacecraft approached and crossed the heliopause. 
These fluctuations suggested complex interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, providing new insights into the shielding effect of the heliosphere. Then, Voyager 1's magnetometer detected unexpected changes in the direction of the magnetic field lines upon crossing the heliopause. These findings suggested that the boundary between the solar wind and interstellar space is not as well defined as previously thought, and that there are complex magnetic interactions occurring at this boundary. Likewise, Voyager 1 detected so-called tsunami waves in interstellar space. These waves are pressure waves generated by solar flares that propagate outward and interact with the interstellar medium. The detection of these waves provided new insights into the dynamic processes occurring in interstellar space and the influence of solar activity far beyond the heliosphere. And since entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 has detected a continuous humming of plasma waves. These persistent plasma waves are believed to be caused by the constant interaction between interstellar plasma and the spacecraft. The discovery of these waves provides valuable information about the density and behavior of the interstellar medium. But did you know that both Voyager 1 and 2 carry the Golden Record? The decision to include the Golden Record on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft was driven by a profound sense of curiosity, a desire for communication, and a symbolic gesture of humanity's reach into the cosmos. Human beings have always sought to explore, understand, and communicate. The Golden Record is an extension of this fundamental drive. It represents our desire to reach out and make contact with other intelligent beings that might exist in the universe. The Golden Record serves as a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. It encapsulates the essence of life on Earth and our cultural achievements, with the hope that, even if found millions of years from now, it can be understood by an extraterrestrial intelligence. It is a time capsule that preserves the diversity of life and culture on Earth as of 1977. It includes sounds, images, music, and greetings that reflect the richness of our planet and the human experience. By sending the golden record into space, humanity leaves a lasting legacy of its presence and its exploratory spirit. It signifies our first steps into the vast unknown and serves as a record of our existence long after Earth may no longer be habitable. The Golden Record is a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. It was designed by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan and includes 115 images, a variety of natural sounds, musical selections from different cultures and eras, spoken greetings in 55 languages, and printed messages from President Jimmy Carter and UN Secretary General Kurt Waldheim. The record includes photographs and diagrams of human anatomy, reproduction, and everyday activities, as well as images of landscapes, animals, and plants. Natural sounds include those of waves, wind, thunder, and animal calls. Human sounds include footsteps, heartbeats, and laughter. The musical selections encompass a wide range of genres, from Bach and Beethoven to Chuck Berry, and traditional songs from various cultures, spoken greetings in 55 languages, including ancient languages like Akkadian, as well as modern ones like English and Chinese. The record's cover contains symbolic instructions for playing the disc and a map showing the location of our solar system relative to 14 pulsars, providing a cosmic address for any potential finders. However, the possibility that both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have encountered extraterrestrial life forms is extremely low. Why? The distances between stars and potential habitats for life are vast. Voyager 1, for example, is currently more than 14 billion miles, over 22 billion kilometers, from Earth. But it is still within the Milky Way galaxy, and far from any other star systems. Even if extraterrestrial life exists, it is likely to be spread out across the galaxy, making encounters with interstellar probes like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 exceedingly rare. The vastness of space means the chance of randomly encountering life is minuscule. The scientific instruments on Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were designed to study the planets, moons, and other physical phenomena within our solar system. They were not equipped with instruments capable of detecting life forms or biosignatures. The Voyager probes were sent on specific trajectories to study particular planets and then continue outward into interstellar space. They were not aimed at any specific star systems where life might exist, 
Since their launch, neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 has transmitted any data that suggests they have encountered extraterrestrial life. All the data received have been consistent with the known conditions of space and the expected interstellar environment. The scientific findings from both Voyagers have consistently contributed to our understanding of the solar system and the interstellar medium, with no anomalies indicating the presence of extraterrestrial life forms. Statistically, the probability of encountering extraterrestrial life within the short time frame and limited space that the Voyagers have traversed is extremely low. The chances increase with time and distance, but still remain minimal due to the vast scale of the galaxy. The Drake Equation, which estimates the number of active communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy, suggests that while there may be many civilizations, they are likely separated by vast distances. The probability of an unplanned encounter by a spacecraft like Voyager is therefore very low. In a nutshell, while the idea of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 encountering extraterrestrial life is fascinating, the possibility is extremely low given the vast distances, lack of detection capabilities, absence of any anomalous data, and statistical probabilities. The Voyager missions continue to provide invaluable scientific data about the outer solar system and interstellar space, but any encounter with extraterrestrial life remains firmly within the realm of speculation and science fiction. As Voyager 1 continues its historic journey through the uncharted territories of interstellar space, the impossible data it recently sent back reminds us of the boundless mysteries that still await discovery. After 46 years, this resilient spacecraft continues to defy expectations and expand our understanding of the cosmos. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Voyager 1's latest findings, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on this and other fascinating space missions. Don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss an update. Join the conversation by leaving a comment below with your thoughts on what this data might mean for the future of space exploration. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep looking up the universe is full of surprises.